defending Trey Young. Obviously, this is going to be a big issue the entire series. And I want to jump in exactly what Steph was saying uh, with Trey Young. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to look at, though, um, first thing I want to look at with Trey Young is, let me see if I got my play right. Okay, yeah, that's the one that I'm looking at. All right, let me bring that. Let me go ahead and bring it back. First thing I'm going to look at is a screen and roll, and he gets an alley-oop to John Collins, right? Off of a regular screen and roll. And, and to me, it was just a little bit too easy that he could get this, get this kind of a clean alley-oop to John Collins. All right, you'll see the setup on the floor here. Basic setup, all right? Trey Young has the ball at the top of the key. You see John Collins here getting ready to set the screen. Julius Randle here. New Orleans Noel on Capella over here. Reggie Bullock on Herder, whoever that is there. And R.J. Barrett here. Now, R.J. Barrett already is kind of helping off because he can see. If you look at R.J. Barrett and you look at where his, his head is pointing, he can see what's happening right here. He's got that line of vision already. He sees the screen is coming to get set, and he's thinking, I got to step in Sam, can you so put I it can on help your get screen? a stop. Sam, yeah, can you put yeah, it on yeah, your screen? Okay. Yeah, let me put it out there. My bad. Right? Mm -hmm. So he's already okay. thinking, I got to, and, and and I'll put that up a, up up so that you can see it again. Um, RJ Barrett's already got a line of vision. I can see it. He can see it there. He can see the screen getting ready to come in. So he's stepping off his man so that he can be in help side. All right, so let's uh, push this forward just a little bit. You'll see the screen come. Bam. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, here's where R.J. Barrett's got to make a decision. couple other things I want to show you on just how much action is actually going on. You see Clint Capella right here is already setting a screen on Nerlens Noel and he's getting ready to come off the screen to pop off over here, which I think that's Reggie Bullock there is going to have to fight over that screen. That way, Trey Young has maybe an open shooter here. All right? And if Nerlens Noel decides to go up here to help out. You may get Clint Capella lobbing to the basket as well, but he probably sees John Collins, so he won't go all the way to the basket. R.J. Barrett, this action here. While Trey Young's coming off the screen, these guys ain't standing still. They're moving. Why are they moving? They're moving because that means R.J. Barrett has to make a decision. Right, And it keeps them occupied. It keeps other defenders occupied while they're running this screen and roll. Now, R.J. Barrett, he recognized that screen and roll was coming. And I think here, R.J. Barrett really needs to step in and be the person to stop John Collins. Make him have to push that, kick that ball out here. I'd rather take a chance on them getting the ball out here than getting the easy lob to the basket. Especially if DeAndre Hunter... Wasn't shooting well. Well, at, at this point, I guess you don't know, right? It's six minutes in the first quarter, so you don't know if he's going to be shooting well or not, right? But R.J. Barrett was just a little bit late on stepping in, and it's not all R.J. Barrett's fault. DeAndre Hunter was moving. So with DeAndre Hunter moving, it stopped. It, it made R.J. Barrett have to pay attention to two things at one time. That's just good uh -huh. offense. Good offense, because really we would have wanted R.J. Barrett to step in, cut that off, force Trey Young to have to kick it out here, and then R.J. Barrett recover. But because DeAndre Hunter was moving and didn't just stand stationary, R.J. Barrett had to make a decision. He had to pay attention to DeAndre Hunter. So Tim, you end up getting a Tim nice Ford? open lob. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, Andy. Yo, for, firstly. Um... I don't know if you notice it, but Randall never, um, at, at least he could step at least one one step further. So, uh, you know, Trey wouldn't have that down, uh, that, that way to the, to the basket open. And if you notice, when you stop the video, he didn't even put his hands up. 
So to prevent mm-hmm. the lob to, to Collins, right? That's and, problem. And you can notice it if you rewatch the game, and it's not only this game, it was in the season also. It's, and, and I'm not saying that he's a lazy defender, but those kind of things, that's why coaches in college preach it. Put your hands up, stretch them out, whatever, but don't put them in the pockets of, of your, you know, Self-taller. shorts. So, you know, and, and that will really disturb them really, really, really way worse. Uh, they would ha- didn't have those, um, you know, uh, line of sight and they would really bother them on passes. Uh, and like you mm-hmm. said, RJ's, RJ's decision has to be basically he has to step in and put his body on the line for a, for a charge in that situation. And we got to live with the three-pointer from, from Hunter in that situation. Yeah. There's no other I, way you, you got to defend that. Yeah. yeah, and I do agree with you, Andy. I do agree with you making those other guys three-point shooters. Also, Sam, one thing that's, to me, been an issue with the Knicks all season is when we get these big leads, right? What's one of the big factors when we get these big leads? We move the ball. We move players around. But when we lose these big leads and we start playing the hero ball and not and seeing what the Atlanta Hawks do, like we said, Trey's mo- Trey Young after the pick and roll, we have guys moving that makes RJ that makes RJ have to make a decision. When the Knicks mm-hmm. on the offensive end haven't been doing that consistent consistently enough this season, where players just moving around. Once once Randall gets that ball, Sim, what do we what do we see? Guys staying around. Guys just not moving around. And that's been always a big issue. And that's, to me, another reason why the defense was so easy on Randall is because guys aren't moving around. Guys are not creating the illusion of this so that there's different options for us to do. That's that's a big problem with the next no, yeah, They don't I, move without the ball. I agree. I agree. Um, now, one thing that I would like to see Derrick Rose do here, he sees this screen coming. Yeah. I would like to see him jump the screen. Instead of letting himself get screened off, jump the screen. He knows the but screen is coming. His, if he jumps the screen, the screen. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. One, at, one at a time. One at a time. Right. Go ahead, Kev. What I was going to say was if he jumps the screen, won't um, won't, won't um, Trey blow past him if he jumps the screen? He he may. He may He's not. cut him off. Right? But if he, ju- he sees this screen is coming, if he, yeah. takes, he takes and puts a foot over top of the screen, he he's now not allowing him to get screened. And yes, Trey Young might try to take off, but you still would have Julius Randle here to hedge just a little bit and then get back to John Collins. Okay. All right. I see. Right. All right. But, Kev, Kev, but, okay. you, you, what we got to notice is that has to be in the game plan before the game exactly. starts. That exactly. That has to be said. And unless Tibbs calls it off, it has to be like that. Every play, no matter who has the ball, who's defending them. Exactly. It has to be the same thing all all over until Tibbs calls it off and switches it up. Right. Okay. So when John Collins starts to walk up here, Derek Rose takes this right foot and steps it over yeah. top of John Collins' leg. Now he has John Collins sealed off which almost negates the screen. Instead, he goes right here, and he doesn't start to go until Trey Young goes, where if he could have took that step, Julius Randle still could have helped out while Derrick Rose recovers, right? But you stop Trey Young from getting in here, right? And but But the communication has to be. And still, still... You know, R.J. Barrett still has a line of vision and sees what's happening. And, and, you know, you see his line of vision looking exact, dead at everything that's happening here, right? Still, because DeAndre Hunter is moving, he doesn't want DeAndre Hunter to go back door and, and, and the oop get there either, right? So he's, you know, he's he's caught in something there on, <clears throat> on how he's going to defend that. Uh, it's good offense, but there's ways to defend it. And I think what you got to do, kind of like everyone has been saying, is you're going to have to live with the three-point shot there and not give up the oop. I'm, I'm going to live with the three-point shot. I'm not I'm not giving up the alley-oop, man. Um, another play here. Steph talked about this a little bit earlier when we first started the show. 
fast break. I talked about fast breaks, you know, as part of my keys to the game that we really got to be able to stop the, the, the Hawks from getting out on the break. And you're going to see here, and I'm going to, if you're Alfred Payton, you got to have in your mind, no matter what's happening, I'm locating him. I am locating Trey Young. We played a girl this weekend. She graduates in 2023. She's one of the top 100 players in the country based on ESPN. So we had to go a boxing one on her. We lost to her team 56 to 41. She had 40 points. 40 points. We had to go boxing one on her. It worked for a little while. It got us since we were down 13. We cut the lead to one. We kept it to five. And then in the last three or four minutes, you know, we lost it. We lost it. But the person I had defending her didn't worry about getting a rebound. Didn't worry about getting a steal. Her only job is when that, when the ball transitioned to them was to find her. That's what Alfred Payton and whoever else is guarding Trey Young has to do. Find him. Be with him. Mm -hmm. And you're going to see here. Right? He's over. Look where he is. He's all the way over here. And this allows Trey Young to get ahead of steam. Nobody on this floor, when Trey Young gets ahead of steam, is going to stay with him. I don't care who you are. You're not going to stay with him. And what you see happens, comes up floor, Alfred Payton can't get there. He's not going to get there. And this puts pressure now on Nerlens Noel, right? Because he has to see that Trey Young is zooming up the floor. Nerlens Noel's got to say, okay, I got to help. RJ Barris now says, I got to help. And what happens? Wide open shot. Clint Capella for the oop. Boom. Oh. Right? We've got to have it in our mind to find that man right off top. We got to find him. You can't just, because if he gets ahead of steam, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. You see, he got ahead of steam and he was gone. I was going to say that, look, because I'm, I'm, we're not going to talk about the old, we talked enough about that, about Alpha Pay and everything, but I will say this one thing that we got to do better in. Like you said, we cannot let this dude get a, a full head of steam. And last night was just, it was just all that all night. Especially even when we sagged off of him. We sagged off of him, he got, he was able to get that head of steam. And then like you said right there, listen, you got to, you got to stick to this man like Lou, know where he's at. Because again, it, like, like you just showed that play, there was no way Alfred Payne was going to get anywhere close to him with the amount of space he gave him, with the, just the speed that he was going through. And like you said, that brings so much pressure on on everybody else to do this assignment, and then we just gave up an open hoop. So, again, we, we got to put somebody on him that's, like you said to, 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 the, to the girl on, your, on the basketball team, even though, hey, <laughs> give her 40 points with She tried her best. God bless her. Oh. But you got to put somebody on him that can stay with him, that can just – recognize where he's at all the time on the floor because the offense literally goes through Trey Young. Everything goes through that man. So you have to recognize where he's at all the time on the floor. Well, I, I mean, it's it's all about it's all about being smart and understanding what your what your job is and what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Because you just can't let him get the ball with open space. Somebody has to be in front of him. So even off of a rebound, Listen, when it's a, a, an inbounds play, you're gonna most likely they're gonna be there. But off of an in, off of a rebound, it makes it it's tough off of a rebound because everyone's scattered, right? You could have went to the basket and Trey Young got screened off and he's out on the perimeter. You missed the shot. Clint Capella gets the rebound. Oh, where is he? Where is he? Right? So you you got to have in your mind, like, I'm getting to him no matter what. And if you don't, if you can't get to him because you're on another side of the floor, 
things got switched up, whatever, you better yell to somebody else and say, hey, you go get him right now. Get in front of him. And everybody has to be aware. This is when I say it really has to be a team thing. Right? Because Derrick Rose could be guarding Trey Young. Clint Capella, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Derrick Rose could have the ball. And he gets a screen from Nerlens Noel and comes off the screen and shoots a floater. Right? Trey Young stayed out by the three-point line. Clint Capella gets the rebound. Trey Young gets the basketball. But Derrick Rose just came down from shooting a floater. So now he can't get back to Trey Young. Now Trey Young is off on a break. This is what I mean when you got to have team defense that's paying attention to him. But when you're in vicinity, like Alfred Payton was, you got to recognize, okay, he got a rebound. Where's, where is he? Where is he? It's my first thought, where is he? That's got to be on our mind the entire game. The entire game. Hey, Sim. Yeah. We, we talked about this before game one. Um, do you feel that we need to start picking this guy up full court? I mean, to wear him down and to, and to, and to let the offense delay getting set up? I mean, because I feel like if you give him too much airspace or you give him too much space, he can blow by you or he can he can make a move and shoot the three from anywhere on the court. I mean, do you feel like we just need to start checking him like right as soon as he gets the ball? Well, and try I, to get that ball I, I out don't, of his hands? Well, I'm going to say this. I don't think you want to play up super duper tight on a full court without any, any kind of backup because uh, even with the ball in his hands, if you're too tight, he's going to blow past you as well. Right, you know, you you got to be a little bit smart in the way that, unless you're gonna have someone that he's not going to blow past, and there's nobody on our team, in my opinion, that he's not gonna blow past. As a matter of fact, most guards in the league of his caliber, you're not gonna put one person on him, and they're gonna stop them him, him from blowing past. Well, at least just apply some pressure, more pressure. Yeah, don't don't I let agree. him walk up the court, walk up the ball of the court. Right. Just give him I, what he wants. I agree. I agree. Apply a little bit That's more sad. pressure. Yep. We talking like this is our first time seeing Atlanta and, and seeing Trey Young play. When you did the pregame show on on how the, the, the uh, playoff preview on Atlanta, this is what we talked about. Yep. How are we going to defend Trey in the pick and roll? Tibbs got two big, thick books on how they're going to do it, how they're going to do it, and what happens. <laughs> We're talking about the same thing same after thing. game one. He's not doing anything that we didn't know he was capable of. Exactly. So now my question is, was the strategy off or was the execution off? Right. Because well, so the lack of fair, skill right? is off. Hold on. Well, hold on. Y'all got one at a time. Well, no, I was going to say, to be fair, I don't want to say you have to throw those two games away the first two games, I'm not saying to throw them away, but this is a completely different team with Nate McMillan. No doubt about like, it, but the pick and roll is was what, still the pick what and I'm roll. saying. You're right about that. I, I didn't put a lot of stock into those three games. You're absolutely right. But what I'm saying is the pick and roll is a, that, that's a bedrock of their offense, no matter who the coach was. And I mean, we knew that going into the series. So I mean, I'm just he, a, yeah. But he did, he did kill us. The game before he like before he got injured in that third or fourth quarter, he was killing us. Isaiah, and, I'm agreeing with you. Oh no, of course. Oh no, I, no, no, I, no, I'm no. agreeing with you. But I'm saying we know this, and we had a week to prepare for it, and it just didn't the, look like it. That's all I'm saying. The, the right. reality and, is, we have nobody that can guard Trey Young on this team. But it's not. But it's a team thing. It's a team thing. And it's about it's a team thing. It's about one the person thing. And, yeah, it's about being able to handle this screen and roll. But again, I'm going to keep saying it to keep saying it to one other time. I'm going to keep saying it till I'm blue in the face. I know we don't want to say it, but Frank is the only one. He's got to get be picked one off one. He's, but he can move through those picks. You're talking about um, um, getting picked off. He moves through those picks. That's all me and, and Isaiah were saying, you know, yesterday and a couple of days before. He can move through those picks. I agree with you, but agree. I'm still saying the Knicks defense has to, the team defense on that yes. pick and roll I told. has to be better no matter yes. who is guarding but also, Trey. Right. But, but also, too, we need to give Trey Young credit because Trey Young's a very smart, intelligent player. 
And, you know, you, you watch in basketball, sometimes they say good offense beats good defense. So you could have, you could throw the kitchen sink at Trey Young and he still but might walk around. You You're know. right. You're right. But we didn't. Like, Tibbs could be in his head. Well, I don't want to double team because if I double team, he can get it to the shooters and then they can hit it down and that creates other problems, but you got to see it. A shooter could be off. You know, you can you can trap him and they pass it's him like and they right. shot. It's like it's it, pick your point. Absolutely, poison. absolutely. Right. Because because what we have to understand, what we have to understand is Frank Nilakina may be able to dodge the screens. I'm not saying he can't. He's one of the best screen dodgers that I've seen. Seriously. But guess what? Trey Trey Young has a lot of court vision. So when mm -hmm. that screen comes and Frank Nilakina dodges it, somebody still is popping open. <laughs> but you know what? If he has more minutes, I guarantee you. I guarantee he will be able to stay with him. If you're he not has more minutes. You're now not understanding what I'm saying. Okay, I okay, okay let me go on to the next thing. Right, you're not, never mind. Let me, you're not we're understanding not what I'm saying. What I'm, <laughs> what I'm saying is when he dodges the screen. Okay. Right? When he dodges the screen, <laughs> it still is incumbent on the person who is guarding the screener to make the correct play. Frank okay, Nilligan, so, so hold that, up, see that play hold, that you said. I'm, I'm just asking a question. No, let me finish. All right, all right, all right. okay. All right. Frank Milikina can dodge as many screens as he wants. But if Nerlens Noel still stabs, if Nerlens Noel still tries to help out, somebody's going to be open. It's a team defensive strategy. Okay, so so that play that you showed us, that you showed us with Derrick Rose getting picked off, was it Randall's, was it Randall's responsibility to let Rose know that a, that a pick was coming? He no, knew. He, he knew. Oh, he, he knew. Okay. He doesn't know. Yeah. He knew that screen was coming. He knew that screen was coming. He wasn't blindsided by that screen. But Is that nobody rolled the other player. Okay. All right. All right. Let, okay. Let All me right. get on to this. Right. Let me get on to this next one here because uh, this one here, it involves Trey Young, but it involves other players as well in the way that they're utilizing their offense and some and this is something that we're also going to have to look out for. All right, what you're going to see here is a backdoor screen for John Collins. All right, so let me push this along just a little bit. And you'll see how they're set up. You can look at, you can see how they're set up. John Collins here, Trey Burke over here on, on the, you know, wing or wherever you want to say, not really the wing, but midcourt. All right. You got R.J. Barrett. Watch R.J. Barrett tussling with Herter down here. And I'm going to tell you right now, on this one play, this play is, in my opinion, R.J. Barrett's fault. Now I'm going to push this forward. You'll see right here, okay? They've got to talk. They've got to communicate because this is this is bad. R.J. Barrett's man goes to set the screen on, I guess that's New Orleans Noel. And you see John Collins now coming this way. Now, he quickly is going to try to help out as much as he can. You see quickly stepping in. Right? But R.J. Barrett, R.J. Barrett's got to go with John Collins on this play right here. He's oh, got to. Yeah, Herder yeah, yeah, yeah. sets that back screen. R.J. Barrett's got to go with John Collins. Wow. Right? He's yeah, got to go yeah. with John Collins right there. If he doesn't go with John Collins, you know what's going to happen right here. Right? And he gets caught. He doesn't go. And you see RJ Barrett's way yeah. up here. You see Nerlens Noel, you know, looking to fight, fight over the screen. Right? Nerlens Noel trying to fight over that screen. RJ Barrett. Stayed with his man instead of going with Nerlens Noel's man. Quickly tried to get over here, but there's nothing quickly can do. Yeah, he, he can do nothing with that. Yeah, exactly. nothing quickly can he do. Got fouled. Hey, yeah, he, I guess he could have grabbed him before he got up there, but you know, then you get that right there. Um, that's a tough one. Sim. And then ho hold on, hold on. Let me get to a couple more because okay. I got to get the practice yeah, myself. Good. Let me get to a couple more, <laughs> a couple more before I get out of here. All right. Um, and then this is another thing that we got to watch out for. All right. You'll see here, and, and we got to be able to, to defend this better. 98-97 Knicks. Minute 54 left to go in the fourth quarter. Trey Young is out here. There's no pressure on him. Derrick Rose is caught down here. Look where the screens are. The screens are way down here. 
Trey Young is out here. All right? We're giving him room to size up where the screens are. Because Derrick Rose, I mean, and I understand why Derrick Rose is giving him so much space. You, you got to, because he's quick. Right. But he takes him right off that screen. All right, takes him right off the screen. Boom. Derrick Rose is trying to fight around these screens and pop through. But at this point, when you look at where Derrick Rose is, and you look at the angle that Trey Young has, it's no way... Mm -hmm. that Derrick Rose is going to be able to get there. No way whatsoever. And, of course, what happens, gets in there, floater in the lane, and he got the foul on that play as well. I you know, I didn't see a foul there, but he got the foul on that play as well. Is that the one we lost the, um, the challenge to? I believe so. Oh. I think. I don't know. Now, so this is what I think we need to do. All right, this is what I want us to do. Look at this here. Boom. You see mm -hmm. this? Mitchell Robinson, Austin Rivers. Neither one of those guys play with us anymore, but Mitchell Robinson, <laughs> Austin Rivers. <laughs> you see Damian Lillard the bringing the ball up. And you see this, a little wall right here. Two guys coming at him. Everybody else back here, you can't see them. It's kind of in a zone type of a defense so that they're playing the passing lanes. Making it tough for him to decide, who do I pass it to? Where do I, how do I get a good pass off? Taking the ball out of his hands because we know that he'll pull it up from here if he has to. Uh -huh. So we're getting the ball out of his hands from the beginning. From the beginning. And what happens, he stops, picks it up, turnover. All right? I would like to see us try to do something like that with Trey Young. It's not going to be that easy, of course, right? Because, you know, they're going to, you know, they'll do a few different things on the defensive side, on the, on the offensive side to, you know, try to prevent you from double teaming up top like that. But, you know, we've got to figure out something. If we don't, you know, it, it can be long. It could be a long series. I think, you know, trying to double team, get that ball out of his hands early uh, could definitely help us.